I'm going to be taking orange soda from Anastasia Beverly Hills and applying this on the crease area with a circular and wind wiping motions. I really like this brush because it's really good for applying crease color, transition colors, and everything. So you can use any fluffy brush you have, but I'm just going to be using the one from Morphe. I'm going to be taking a flat brush and I'm using this eyeshadow from Anastasia as well. It's called Aqua. And I sprayed some Fix Plus spray on my brush so the color would come out more on the lid. And I always do this. And then I'm using padding motions all over my lid since it's kind of hard to find where my lid is. And apply color since there's so much creasing. Next, taking this glitter from Shot Violet Vloss and a flat brush from Sigma Beauty. I'm applying the goldy glitter all over my lid and on top of the eyeshadow I just applied because this is a really pretty glitter. I just wanted to experiment with it and I'm going to use padding motions to apply this all over my lid since I have so much creasing it's kind of hard you know but this brush makes it a lot easier for me and I just pat it all over my lid. I did my eyeliner off camera, but um, I'm going to just apply this black color from Anastasia. It's called Noor, and applying this to define my crease more and connecting it to my wing liner using a pencil brush from Luxie Beauty. Next, I'm going to be taking orange soda again and blending it back with the definition shade since I feel like, you know, you can blend it out the definition color and you want to blend that all out. So I'm going to use that 221 brush and orange soda to blend it back so the blending will look more smoother. I am now going to just take some white eyeshadow and you can use anything. Applying this on my brow bone with a really small brush. Um, I feel like this is the most important step to get very blended looks, so do this. I'm going to be applying top and bottom lashes to my eyes, and then this is the finished look. Um, I got this look from Samantha or Bathalash Beauty, and I just really, really liked it. I thought it was a beautiful look, and I wanted to recreate it with kind of like my own style. So I tried to make it very simple and also like hers, but a little bit kick of my style. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Um, if you guys want, you can follow me on social media, catch me on Instagram or Facebook, and I'll be posting a new tutorial soon. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching guys. You guys are the best. Thank you.